Hello everyone and welcome to a Velveteen web design video tutorial. In this video tutorial I will be using Yeoman, Node.js, and CodeDrops to build a simple website with an interesting effect. So let's begin. Alright, so first, uh, if you don't have Node.js, uh, you just go to nodejs.org, install Node.js, uh, then go to Yeoman, it tells you how to install Yeoman, uh, npm install dash g yo. And then, you know, just go to core drops and find, you know, a nice t uh, effect that you like. I like this one, how to create a tiled background slideshow. So we'll be using that. Uh, so then after you've got that all set, you just go to your terminal, type in yo. That's the command for yeoman. And we want to run the web app generator. So I just click, click enter. And make sure you're in the folder that you want to install this to. So I'll just show you. Oops. Let me close this. Um, so like I'm in, uh, let's see, desktop plus CD website one. Actually, I wasn't in the folder that I wanted to be in. All right, so I created a folder called website one. Uh, just make sure you're in the folder before you run the yo command. Uh, so now I run yo. And so let's, uh, let's just go to that here. Okay, this is my website one folder. And I'm going to run the web app generator. So I hit enter. I don't need bootstrap, SAS, or modernizer, so I just hit spacebar and then hit enter. And you'll notice that Yo creates all the components you need to create an, a great website. And then you get to use Grunt afterwards to minify and do a, a few other commands. You can minify the HTML or uh, concat the different files together. It's very useful. We just wait here. And for some reason, okay, that's fine. Let's uh, see. All right. So, okay. So I have my files here, and my website is actually in this app folder right here. Uh, so you can see I have my images, scripts, styles, index HTML. This is the, the boilerplate uh, template, uh, which I've used a lot for websites. It's a great uh, boilerplate. Uh, so, so basically that's it. I now have my website. If I click on index HTML, you can see it says allo allo and you now have HTML5 boilerplate and I can just edit the code and there it is. Simple as that. As with what I used to do before, I used to go to HTML5 boilerplate and kind of install it from there and start from there. All right, so we have our website. So now what we do is we go to uh, code drops and I want to use how to create a tiled background so I click there and we can see you scroll down this was created by Mary Lou alright so we're just gonna click download if we view the demo we can see what it does it's just this really cool slideshow alright so let me go back I'm gonna download the source and I'm gonna minimize this and we just start a new tab here, go to the downloads folder, and uh, see if we can find it. Here we go, four boxes. I believe that's it, four boxes. And index, yep, that's it. All right, so all I did was kind of uh, drag the, the folder. Oh, I closed the wrong, oh no, I didn't. I just dragged the four boxes folder into my app folder which is right here. We can delete this after, but what I'm going to be doing, actually a better idea would be to have two windows uh, because I'm going to be, um, let's see, I'm going to be copying files from the cold drops uh, website to this app folder for my new website. Um, so if I click on app and four boxes, all right, so I have my app here and I'm just going to separate these windows. Uh, so this is the four boxes, this is the effect, you see that cool effect there, and this is my app, which is just this, allo allo. Alright, so uh, this can be a fairly quick process, again you want to use the code drops effects in your own way as much as possible. Um, you can use the code, uh, but they just advise that you use it in your own way. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this kind of our own, obviously using the code that was created for it. Um, so to create this website, um, usually with code drops, you just need the component, 
Uh, sometimes you need the demo, but not always. So I'm just going to copy this component.css and put it in my styles and here for my new website. Uh, I'm going to copy the JavaScript and just copy and put it in scripts and paste. And I'm going to copy this fonts folder and just paste it in here in the fonts and images. So what I want to do is see how big these images are and they're uh, where's the height and width uh, it doesn't tell me I'd probably have to open it in Illustrator for these purposes I'm going to use these images uh, I don't advise to do that because these are from code drops but it's just a video tutorial so um, I probably could have prepared my own images which is fine but um, we're just going to use these images for today all right, and uh, basically there's there's three different effects for this uh, demo. There's this one that slides out like that. There's index three that slides down. Okay, and there's index that slides like that. I like this first one, this first effect. So what I do is I open up the index HTML in a code editor, and I'm gonna open this one. And as you can see, there's not that much code there. Basically, all I need is uh, this div, the box gallery. And this looks like it. And I'll probably need this container up here, but I think that might be all. So I just copy this, and instead of alo alo, I'm just gonna just delete, uh, let's see, yeah, just delete this whole section here. Just paste that. We want to paste in the, the JavaScript and the script here. So we click that and we're going to put it um, right up here. And instead of JS, we're just going to say scripts because Yeoman created a scripts folder, not a JS folder. Same, same thing, but just so it points to the right folder. Okay, and we want to copy in this CSS right up here. So I just click. And I'm going to say uh, styles instead of CSS and component, anything else, demo, favicon. Da -da -da. Uh, I think that's it. We don't have the container set up, so let's see if it works without the container. Okay, copy the images. And if we go, click on index, we should see we have four broken links. Okay, so what did we not do? Uh, let's see. Styles, uh, scripts, did I not paste in a script? Let's see, hmm. demo. I might need the demo file uh, from the four boxes effect. So we go to the CSS, copy the demo, into styles, copy demo, and then we add the demo here and right up here. And just click demo, okay, save. And let's see if it works now. No, we still have four. Oh, I know why. Because images, uh, you see this folder is called images. And here it's IMG. Uh, they just kind of made it shorter. So we have to say images, images, and images. And again, we say images. I have a feeling it's still not going to work, but we'll troubleshoot it. So yeah, all we have is four images there. So we have to see what is it that we're not quite getting from the effects panel. All right, index, readme, JavaScript, fonts. We got the fonts, CSS, index. Okay, so here's here's the four boxes. Let's try adding in that container. That could be what's doing it. Sometimes it, that container has some CSS in it that uh, we need. Okay, div and div. Nope, still nothing. Okay. Hmm. Script, script, code apps, four boxes. And let's just look at the, um, let's inspect the code. Load, boxes, FX, JS, modernizer is not found. Ah, app index, Google Analytics. Okay, app demo. Error file not found. So demo. 
Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot to add styles here. Okay, let's see what we got now. No, nothing. Mm, it's not demo. Okay, no, that didn't do much. It just changes to, to black here. All right, so one thing it's it's looking for is this modernizer here. This modernizer custom.js. So to make sure we have that in the scripts, we do. And we just have to change this to scripts. And let's see what that looks like. And there it is. We just needed that modernizer file in there. All right. So that's pretty much it um, to, to this tutorial. Obviously you can play around with this effect and do much more to it. You can see she has a, uh, she has a header here with some text in it. Um, I can show you even if we add this in there, it'll, it'll add some text. See, now we have the text and um, right in there. So this will style it to be right in the middle, like, like so. So it's a very cool effect, and I'm, I'm actually curious if we take out the container. Sometimes you need the container, sometimes you don't. Um, as you can see with this one, I took out the container and it still works fine, but it, it doesn't hurt to just have it in there. And you can actually just replace images. So I'm actually gonna grab an image just to show you. Um, how this, this would go. So let's say we pick uh, just this one right here, walnuts in a jar. I'm just gonna replace one of the images with, um, so I'm just gonna label this 12 and label this one, okay. Hit refresh and we see, there we go. You know, I can work with many images and I'll just use one more just for demonstration purposes and we'll call this 22 and we'll just call this two. We hit refresh. And there you go. It's a cool effect. You can add any images you want to it. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then the last thing I'll show you is uh, if we go to, to the terminal and let me see here, uh, CD, uh, CD desktop, LS, CD website. Okay. Oh, CD website one, excuse me. All right, so there's our app folder. And if we hit grunt build, um, okay, there were some warnings. Okay, let's go back to the uh, to the app. This. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. I was going to go into more detail. I don't think I will in this tutorial on how to concat and minify all your uh, files. Um, but that's pretty much it for using Yeoman, uh, Node.js, and Code Drops. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's a cool effect. And I'll see you in the next video.